Today, it's Maury after the results, 15 years in the making. Now, back in 2004, we introduced you to a woman named Jackie, who was in love with a man named Giuliano. He was a controlling and abusive man. <laughs> Jackie's self-esteem was at such a low point, she was unable to even look at her own reflection in the mirror. Watch. When was the last time you ever looked in a mirror? I can't remember. You won't look in a mirror? No. Why? <laughs> because he spits in my face, he calls me a whore, he calls me a I'm too ashamed to look at myself. You must wear sweatpants. Yes. Why? He doesn't want me to show my body. My girlfriend Jackie, she's beneath me and she does what I tell her to do. I force Jackie to wear sweatpants. She can't be running around like a damn hoe. I work, I expect the house to be clean, everything to be cooked, my daughter to be watched. Just, you spit in her face? Yeah, I spit in her face. That's the worst indignity. You spit in her face. She deserves it. Okay, so after the show, we brought Giuliano to a funeral home to give him a sobering glimpse of what life would be like if Jackie were no longer alive. The men listened as the funeral director talked about the many victims of domestic abuse that he's seen in his day and tried to convince these men to change their ways. It might have started off with verbal abuse and then it graduated into physical abuse. It might have been just a slap across the face. It's not going to be no more hitting, no um, arguing. Um, I, don't I don't have a lot to say because I'm crying so much, but I love my family. I mean, as we just saw, Going to the funeral home touched Giuliano in a profound way. But was it the beginning of a lasting change? It is now 15 years later. Giuliano is back. Welcome, Giuliano. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, Mark? Nice to see you. Good to see Thanks you, too. Nice to see you. Had to see you right here. Wow. You know something? Yes. I've done a lot of shows. I remember that show. You watched it on, on air, too. Yeah. And, that, and, you, and you felt embarrassed. Felt a, a, lot, a lot of embarrassment. I looked in the mirror, I couldn't take it. Back then, you said you almost had a right, you felt you had a right to act that way. I was used to treating women like that because the way I was raised. So let's find out what happened. You, so you went back home, right? Yes. You stayed with Jackie for a while, right? Yes. Did you immediately change, or was it over a period of time? I changed as soon as the show was over. You did? It was you. It was, it was Mari. It was him. No, guess what? It was within you. You had it within you to yes. change. So, tell me what happened in your life that made it better. Actually, I work at a funeral home now. Right. Wow. You actually work in a funeral home. The funeral home that I seen down here in Harlem, yeah. it put something in my heart. It changed me right. as a man. So I started taking care of families at funeral homes. So that's a blessing. Okay. So eventually, you and Jackie split up, right? Yes. Are, are you still in contact? Yes, every day we talk. Uh, I chat with my daughter every live day. every day. And guess what? Jackie is here, everybody. Here's Jackie. Jackie <laughs> Wow. 15 years. Yeah, 15. Right. Back then, you had no confidence. Couldn't look at another guy, couldn't walk down the street, couldn't do anything. Keep my eyes down on the ground. Right. How you doing now? I'm doing real good. I can look at myself in the mirror again. What do you think of him? Big difference, big change. You believe that that show kind of changed your life? Yeah, it changed my life and it saved my life because before your show, I didn't really realize how deep I was in to almost, you know, dying just to be with the man I love. Now, Juliana. After all this time, have you ever actually apologized to her? Yes, but I ain't apologized the right way. I'm 
sorry for everything I did. I didn't mean nothing. I was acting childish. I'm a grown man now. I will make sure I protect you and Juliana. I love you so much. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's great. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's why we have controlling men on this show. Because we know how prevalent it is in the country, and we want to find a way to stop it. Now, this next story, it, it, it even goes farther back uh, than 2004. It goes back to 2001. 17-year-old Jennifer wanted to prove to her ex-boyfriend, Josh, that he was the father of her son, Jordan. And then, in a shocking twist, Josh's own brother, Robert, claimed he could be baby Jordan's dad. Watch. You never slept with Robert? Never. They called the show and tried to make me look like a hoe, and it's not even like that. And you and and you never slept with Robert? For the record, I can't stand Jimmy. What kind of girl sleeps with two brothers? I don't know if this baby's mine or not, but I want it to be. The timing matches up. I slept with her around the same time she got pregnant. I don't want this baby to be mine. I want it to be Josh. If this baby is mine, it's gonna break my heart. You think this is your child? I want it to be my child, but I have doubts because he said he slept with her. But she says she never slept with him. Well, that's, that's I mean, lying. She's lying. It's oh. plain and simple. She's lying. Fun you had sex, simple. Jennifer. If there's a chance that that baby is mine, and you have kept that from me for a year and seven months, you're lying, and I watch man. my nephew grow up as mine. Come on, man. That's so it was time to find out who was lying, who was telling the truth. Rarely do we see such raw emotion during a paternity test result. Watch. Josh. You are not the father of 19-month-old Jordan. Robert, you are the father of 19-month-old Jordan. Who's are you, man? You just did it for me. Okay, sit down, sit down. No! Josh, Josh, Josh. I love you, the father, man. I love you, dog. Is he the father? Oh, my God! So, we've tried to track down these brothers, but so far we haven't had any luck. So, Josh, Robert, if you're watching, please give us a call. We'd love to hear how you're doing, all right? Thanks for watching another After the Results video. For more behind the scenes content, click here. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to be the first to know about more exclusive content.